Hi Lance Pitlick from Sweet Hockey Training and welcome to Hockey Tips Tuesday. Coach's plan number three, lateral sidesteps. I do this drill regularly over the course of the season as it really promotes body control and I always love multitasking drills. When I first introduced this drill, especially with younger players, I'll have four or five lines on the blue line and go to the red line and then back. As they get more proficient, I'll make it a little longer and go goal line to blue line. Everyone goes to the blue line, and once everyone's did that stretch, I'll send them back to the goal line going the opposite direction. Finally, once they have it down pretty good and can do it with a puck on their stick, I'll have them do the side steps up the boards until just inside the blue line, cut across forward, and come down and take a shot. There are four progressions to this drill. The first one is learning the footwork pattern. Next is increasing the speed. After that, I'll add a puck and have them dribble while doing the side steps. And finally, doing a toe pull. Let me show you how it all works. Side steps. Now we're going to work on some agility footwork. Uh, it's called side steps. So we want to have two hands on our stick in front of my, my body. I'm going to be going from blue line to red line. You can put a cone at one side over another just so they're doing this for a period of time in that direction. But all I'm going to do is bring my feet apart bring them together, apart, together, apart, together. Now one thing that happens with players is that when they're doing this, their foot will turn, their lead foot will turn in the direction that they're going. Reason being is because their shoulders turn. My shoulders turn and I'll want to open that skate up. Square their shoulders up towards the boards. That's why I like doing it from line to line because they square their uh, shoulders up towards the boards and their toes are always facing the boards as well. So here's what it looks like. Step apart together, step apart together. And I'll go all the way to the red line. And then I'll come back the other direction. When they're first doing it, I don't care if they're just going this fast. It's just getting the pattern down and we'll work on the speed as they become more comfortable with this exercise. Side steps fast. Now if your players are getting more comfortable with this, we can start working on the speed. If once we add speed, usually form and technique breaks, breaks down. So if you see them getting going fast and all of a sudden they start doing this, have them stop, reset, and start again. Here's what it looks like. Two hands on my stick. Now I'll never go full speed. I go as fast as I can until my form breaks down. So I want to control my upper body. That's got to be quiet. And I want my feet going wide. My toes are always pointing forward. Again. Side steps, dribble. Now we're going to increase the difficulty of this exercise. I'd recommend not introducing a puck unless their form and technique is really good. But we want their hands to be constantly moving while we're doing this exercise. And here's what it looks like. Side steps, toe pull. Now we're going to add another stick handling technique to this exercise. As we're going across, I'm going to pull the puck across my body, stop it with the toe of the blade, and then back, back and forth as I'm doing this. And here's what it looks like. Again, the other way. We're multitasking here, it's not easy. But the more they practice, the better they'll get. For more on-ice drills, please visit the Coach's Drill Vault and your Engine Youth Hockey website. Thanks for watching, and have a sweet hockey training day.